What do Tiger Woods, LeBron James, Kim Kardashian and Brad Pitt have in common? Besides the fact that they're very famous and successful, they all have what is known as myopia, which is commonly referred to as nearsightedness. Myopia refers to when things at closer distances are much clearer than further distances, and in most cases require glasses to yield clearer vision. From my knowledge, the celebrities mentioned above have had laser surgery, so don't require glasses anymore. But in the cases where they didn't have laser surgery, what would they see without glasses? So in this video, we'll be stepping into the shoes of a myopic person to see for ourselves what that would feel like. You see, I reverse engineered my iPhone camera to be exactly myopic by minus one, minus two, and minus three, so I can simply walk around uncorrected. I'm going to start with a minus one and progressively make my way up to a minus two and a minus three. For each refractive error, I'm going to correct the vision with the appropriate lens power and we'll see what difference it makes. Let's start with a shopping mall. This is the vision of someone who does not need glasses to see. The Apple logo in the distance is nice and clear, and so are the posters inside. Now we step into the shoes of a nearsighted individual. This is how one would see if they had a refractive error of minus one. You can see that the distance vision is actually not that bad. You can still recognize the Apple logo and that there are some people inside. With this level of vision, I feel like I could walk around the shopping mall without bumping into anything. However, when correcting the vision, the logo appears much clearer at a distance, making it easier to recognize the Apple store. Have a look inside, shall we? Inside the store, I'm able to see clearly within one meter away without blur. This would be about the distance from where I am to where the family of iPhones are. But pay attention to the posters at the back. The sign that reads AirPods is very difficult to read. We obviously know it reads AirPods because there is a poster directly under it. But by adding on the appropriate lens power, we can appreciate how clear it could be. I'm down browsing at the Apple store. Let's go have some lunch. As I'm having my lunch, I can see that the food in front of me is nice and clear, but what else do they have on the menu? Moving on to being minus two. This time we're out in the city. It's a beautiful day. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two levels of myopia we have seen so far. The most recognizable icon in each of the views is the McDonald's sign in the distance. On the left, the logo is nice and clear. In the middle, the logo is slightly visible. And on the right, the logo is unrecognizable. This is a point of view of someone walking in the city without being corrected at minus two. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the same path, but with correction. In my opinion, walking around the city uncorrected is not a pleasurable experience. The signs are illegible, people's faces are unrecognizable, and it promotes squinting, which is bound to end up in creating wrinkles. But if you're enjoying this so far, then feel free to thumbs up this video and let me know what you think about this experience down in the comments below. I'm thinking of doing one for astigmatism, so subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Moving on to minus three. Now, I'm not sure exactly what refractive error Tiger Woods had before his laser surgery, but let's imagine that was about a minus three. I wanna see what it's like to have blurry vision while playing golf. Walking around the course isn't too bad. I can still see the vehicle off into the distance and also where I'm going. The field is blurry, but I can still see how far the trees are. And when it comes to looking at my ball, I can see exactly where it is. But being able to hit it properly is a different story. Up close, I can see it clearly, but as I move away, my vision does become blurry. Golf is a game that requires tremendous hand-eye coordination, and not having clear vision is probably not doing me a favor. Oh, 
How about an indoor sport like futsal? After all, it is a sport that is played indoors, so it should be somewhat better, right? See for yourselves what having minus 3 uncorrected feels like. I want to get the dashboard. <laughs> but that just about wraps up today's video. If you've learned something new, or at least found something useful, then yay, thumbs up to you. If you want to thumbs up back, then they'll be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.